Hey guys, here with another video to demonstrate the Color Q2X Pro 7 digital water test kit. Um, stay tuned to see what's inside. Let's open it up. All right. And um, you get the unit itself. You get six test tubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you can test for a couple things here. Um, obviously, we got liquid to test the chlorine and pH. And then for alkalinity, there's tablets, calcium hardness, there's tablets. And then our CYA levels is also a tablet. So uh, what else is in here? The caps for the tubes. We got some cleaning uh, tools and as well as the tablet crusher. So uh, we're going to be using that when we test our water today. Um, it also comes with some information to teach you how to perform each test. Um, we can take a look at this as well. It's very detailed um, on how to test for chlorine, total chlorine, pH, and the back includes alkalinity, calcium hardness, and our CYA level. So let's go ahead and get our sample water and let's get testing. It came with its own water bottle, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off and get our water sample. Let's do that real quick. The best way to do it is to face the bottle, water bottle down, submerge it about elbow deep, flip it over underwater, get our sample, and bring it back up. There you have it. Now that we have our sample water, I'm gonna be filling each tube up to the five mil fill line and um, in the interest of time I've already done the rest here as you can see have already been filled with the our water sample so what we're gonna do next is turn on our unit which connects to the um, water links app and it's battery operated so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on really quick so you can see it turning on it's now showing a blank so uh, it wants us to blank out the unit first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this blue cap, put it on this uh, one here, insert it. Well, first let me open the app. Let me go ahead and do that. Um, give me one second. So apparently I can have the water links amp and record at the same time. So I'll post the results at the end, uh, but I am gonna demonstrate how it works. So. Um, the first thing you do is you insert um, the blank vial into the unit itself. Then you click on this little button here and it will process to clear out the unit. Once you're done, it's, gonna, it's asking for the free, free chlorine. Um, to get the free chlorine, we're gonna use one of these drops the good thing about it it's only five drops for each vial that you're going to use when you're using the liquid liquid test so the free chlorine it's labeled for free chlorine dpd 1a that's the first one we're going to test here so we're going to add five drops of that one two three four five then we're going to add five drops of dpd 1b so let's do that now I need a box here because my table has holes and the balance isn't that great. So let's do five of this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, once we got that added, now we can test our free chlorine. What I'm gonna do before I even insert into the unit, I'm going to put the cap back on it, invert it, and then flick it a couple times to get rid of those bubbles. Once those bubbles are gone, I'm going to go ahead and insert it in the unit itself so you can see. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to click this button here and we should get our chl free chlorine results, which is at 2.05. It's now a little low. That's telling me I'm going to most likely need to add a little bit of chlorine. Um, to do our next, our next test, you just click here to go to the next one. To do the total chlorine, we're going to have to add five drops of this DP3 for total chlorine in the same water sample that you had for your free chlorine. So to get the total chlorine, 
we're gonna do go ahead and do that really quick so we'll do five drops one two three four five that's five drops of that and we'll put this back put the lid back on invert it a couple times Make sure there's no bubbles. Insert it back into the unit. It's back in. And then let's go see what the result is. 2.13. All right. Uh, for those who don't know, if you subtract your total chlorine from your free chlorine, that's your combined chlorine. Anything over one part per million requires you to shock your pool. Just a rule of thumb for that, for those who don't know. So... We're gonna do the pH next. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add five drops of the solution that needs to be tested for the pH. So let's do that really quick. That would be this solution here. It's the pH um, test here. I'm gonna do five drops of this. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. That's five right there. Put this back. And put the lid on. I'm going to go ahead and invert it a couple times. Do that a couple times this way. Get the bubbles, air bubbles out. Get my unit. Pop it in my unit. Go ahead and press the button. And that's our pH, 7.5, just where I want to be. All right, so we got that test out of the way. Um, so now our next test is alkalinity. So let's go ahead and do that next. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these tablets. This is what the tablets look like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I like to just push the tablet outwards that way, bend it and push it out that way and it should fall right into the test tube. So let's do that really quick. Oops, hit and a miss. There you have it. Pop that right in there. I usually don't like to touch it, but this time I missed. Happens sometimes. So let's go ahead and crush this bad boy here right in front of you guys. Okay, got it all. What do you guys think? By all means, I'm no expert, but I'm gonna use the other end to stir it. All right, looks like I got it all. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. I'm gonna go ahead and invert it a couple times. And then I'm gonna get the bubbles out to get a good test result. So now, now that I think we got a good sample here, let's put it in our unit. There you go. Just click the button. And we got an 84. Slightly low, but we can always raise our alkalinity with baking soda, for those who don't know. All right, so we got that test out of the way. Now we need to do our next test, which is total hardness. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, hardness tablet here. Get this one out. Same, same deal, I'm gonna pop this tablet out. Pop it in there. And then we have, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out really quick. Uh, I don't wanna cross contamination, so let me do that really quick with some of our sample water. And I also need to fill this one up too. I think it fell over. All right, I think we're good there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crush this one now. Same process. It's hard to crush it when I'm holding it up in the air in the camera here. Kinda hard to crush it. I'd rather just put it on the table like this. And it just crushes much easier. So much easier like that when you put it on the table. So I'm just trying to show you guys 
on camera how what it looks like so that's why i'm doing it like this but it's actually much easier than what you're seeing okay i think i got it turn on the table just in case on the table then we're gonna stir it all right that there put the cap back on inverted a couple times no bubbles i think we're good let's go to the next test which is the calcium hardness Enter the, uh, the test tube, hit the button, and it's at 204. All right, we got that one out of the way. Last but not least is CYA. So let's get that tablet out. Get that tablet in there. I'm gonna crush, oh, first I'm gonna clean this here. Again, to avoid cross-contamination. I'm gonna put this on the table to crush it faster. You know, you can't see it, but just to kind of give you an idea what I'm doing here. It looks like it's crushed all right i'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on invert it a couple times all right looks good let's go ahead and put it in here see what our result cya cya levels are at 77 all right, and that's how you complete the test. If you like this product, I'll put a link in the description below. It is an affiliated link, and it does help out the channel. Thanks for viewing you guys. As promised, here's a screenshot of the Waterlink Solution app results. It's a great app and I recommend you download it if you end up purchasing this product. Have a good one you guys.